And I finally was like, you know what, I'm gonna make the decision and follow through with it and be a husband. And you know, this is what I've always wanted. I'm gonna just choose this woman and, 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 and just do it. And commit to it, yeah. and you did. Yeah. Hailey Bieber reacts to Justin Bieber ruining her. If your extremely well-known singer husband humiliated you in public, how would you have handled it? Well, you can ask Hailey Bieber. With the intense public drama, we can only imagine what it's like off camera. But it seems that Hailey has finally had enough. Stay tuned. The Canadian singer and rapper Justin Bieber has been married to the American model and socialite Hailey Baldwin for three years now. And of course, in marriage, there are a lot of ups and downs. Well, for the Baldwin couple, they have really been through a lot. From meeting in 2009 to getting married nine years later in 2018, and all things in between, their relationship would have been the last thing people expected because of Justin's relationship with the American singer and actress Selena Gomez, which has been going on for several years before calling the final quits in 2017. But how did the two celebrities even meet? Haley's father, Steve Baldwin, is also well known being an actor and producer, so it's not a wonder that Haley grew up in the spotlight and even meet famous celebrities at a very young age. If you haven't guessed it yet, Steve had everything to do with the couple first meeting in 2009 during a fan event. Haley was 12 at the time, and, well, you can definitely tell it was awkward. But of course, much has changed in the years that came because, two years later, Haley once again met Justin when her father Stephen brought her to the New York City premiere of Justin's 3D concert film, Never Say Never. I was never a super fan of him or of anyone. It was never that crazed, screaming thing. I didn't think about it in any kind of way except for the fact that he was cute. Everybody had a crush on him, but for the first few years, we had a weird age gap. Haley, later on, explained in an interview with Vogue magazine, it seemed that love wasn't really a part of God's plan for them just yet. By November of 2014, Justin was still dating his on and off again ex-girlfriend Selena, but was spotted attending Hillsong Church in New York City with Haley and the American model Kendall Jenner. Because they were seen together, many speculated that they were dating and because Justin had just broken up with his on-again, off-again girlfriend Selena Gomez. This time, it was not Selena and Justin's first breakup and, as we all know, not their last. A month later, in December of the same year, both Justin and Haley denied the rumors that they were involved in a romantic relationship, saying it was just good friendship. In an interview with E! News, Haley explained, I've known him since I was so young since I was like 13, and we've just been good friends over the year. We have just stayed close, and there's nothing more to it than that. Really, Haley? On the same month, Justin shared a photo of her and Haley, and the picture was captioned, People are crazy. I'm super single, and this is my good friend you would know otherwise. At the start of 2015, Justin and Haley once again proved their closeness and shut down all the dating rumors, for they spent New Year's Eve together. Justin, later on, posted a video of him and Haley at the back of the party they went to together. A few months later, in the seventh month of the year 2015, the best friends got matching tattoos. You know, just like friends do. According to Cosmopolitan, the tattoos were in honor of their common friend, a pastor, Chad Veach's daughter, Georgia, who was born with lysencephaly, a rare condition characterized by a lack of folds in the brain. In December of the same year, Haley went on vacation with Justin's family, and in January of 2016, they once again spent New Year's Eve together, but in a more romantic way. They spent the New Year together in St. Bart's, where they exchanged a New Year's kiss at Leonardo DiCaprio's New Year party. It seemed that love had probably found its way to the two, but commitment was not in the play cards yet. The couple discussed the real score between them a month later. With an interview with GQ, Justin shared that Haley is someone who he really loves, but he didn't want to commit to anything. We are not an exclusive couple. He's about to go on tour, Haley explained to E! News. Relationships at this age are already complicated, but I don't really like to talk about it because it's between me and him, she added. Obviously, both Justin and Haley were in denial and tried to avoid admitting that they were dating and possibly already in love with each other. But Justin managed to predict his future when he said, I know that in the past I've hurt people and said things that I didn't mean to make them happy in the moment. So now I'm just more so looking at the future, making sure I'm not damaging them. What if Haley ends up being the girl I'm going to marry, right? But unfortunately, Fate broke their unsure relationship apart sometime between February and August 2016. Negative things happened that we still need to talk about and work through. Fizzled would not be the right word. It was more like a very dramatic excommunication. There was a period where if I walked into a room, he would walk out. 
she explained in an interview published in 2019. After breaking up with Haley for the first and last time, Justin unfollowed Haley on Instagram. Because Justin and Haley had already broken up at the time, their friendship was on the rocks for almost two years. In late 2017, Justin rekindled his relationship with Selena Gomez just when she was fresh out of a breakup with The Weeknd. Unfortunately for Jelena fans, Justin and Selena broke up for the last time, for good, in March of 2018. But not soon after the breakup, Justin and Haley reconciled in July, and on the 7th of the same month, Justin asked Haley to marry him. Thankfully, they are now both living happily with each other's company. Now, here comes the real issue. Justin had embarrassed Haley many times, and she took it with a smile every time. After news circulated that Justin was mistreating Haley, she shared her thoughts on these rumors on 4D with Demi Lovato. You have to know what the truth is behind everything. There's so many narratives floating around about me, about him, about us together. There's one big fat narrative that goes around that's like, Justin is not nice to her and he mistreats her. It's so far from the truth. It's the complete and utter opposite, she explained. During the interview, she even praised her husband, saying, I really am lucky to say I'm with someone who is extremely respectful of me, who makes me feel special every single day. So when I see the opposite of that, I'm just like, huh? And everybody around who knows us personally would say the same thing. If the lie is they're miserable in their relationship, well, the truth is that we've literally never been more obsessed with each other and we have so much fun together, the supermodel added. She continued, I think Justin does a very good job of reminding me because I have my low days where I'm like, this is too much and all the things people are saying, I can't take it today. Again, he'll come in and be like, well, the truth is this. The truth is that you're good and you're secure and you're loved and all your friends love you and your family loves you and I love you. Haley even shared that Justin is the more emotional one and the one who's very sensitive. To be honest, he's my best friend, so sometimes you don't even have to say anything. Sometimes you can just be there, she said. About her identity in her marriage with Justin, she shared, When you marry someone that is really well-known, you also accept that at a lot of the time, people are going to be like, oh yeah, that's blah blah blah's wife. It doesn't bother me. It bothers me when people try to take it and flip it and be like, people wouldn't know who you were if you weren't his wife. Because I disagree. I'm sorry, but I disagree. Haley also mentioned how independence had always been important to her and was actually one of the biggest things that scared her about marriage. It seems that Justin and Haley are perfectly fine, but what do their fans think about this? One fan tweeted, Haley would not have stayed with Justin all these years if he's mistreating her. Another tweeted, How many more times are we going to see paparazzi videos of Justin Bieber mistreating Haley? It's like every video, he's slamming a car door in her face. Douchebag. Haley is hella territorial over Justin, but won't come to his defense when people are accusing him mistreating you? A netizen tweeted, what do you think? Is Justin really mistreating Haley, or is it just the way they play? We'd love to hear your opinions, so leave them down below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye!